Do you want to know the biggest difference of shopping in Japan versus shopping in the US at a golf store? Well, follow me for today's video on what PGA Tour Superstore has in store here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and what my shopping looked like in Tokyo, Japan at their big camera store. Both golf equipment stores but both very different culturally, experience-wise, as well as some of the equipment that they had in there. So follow me for today's episode. Let's show you the difference between America and Japan when it comes to golf. Let's get started. Let's talk about what we just saw, the PJ Tour Superstore, and then what I saw in Japan. Big differences in both places, but also a lot of similarities. As you can see holistically, within the golf space, both the stores had your clubs, they had clothes, they had gadgets, and they had a lot of variety, and I would say the, the big four or five were both in both countries. So that I think holistically we could agree on. I think there was a lot of cool differences that we got to see in terms of in Japan. I felt like there was a lot of small little cooler colorful like teas and um, just very unique different things that I hadn't seen before. As opposed to in the US, we had our standard set of teas. Um, we had what I was very shocked about, a senior tea. I'd never seen that before with I feel like it was kind of strange to have like four older gentlemen there, but hey. So that to me was a little bit different. In terms of scale, I feel like it's not fair to compare the two for scale because it it's not fair because Tokyo is very condensed and is a big city. It would be comparing it to New York City as opposed to this is in Arizona. It's big. It's a big scaled uh, superstore, which is kind of what they're all about. Um, so in that sense, I think it's like unfair to compare the two when it comes to scale. But if you think about it, Tokyo, this camera store actually, which I was, um, which I, earlier I said that it's actually a department store, not fully just a golf score, golf store. They do have a big section for golf, which is seems condensed and tight because they're trying to fit so much in there. Um, but it is a department store that's in Tokyo, you're gonna to find a lot of those around. Another thing I want you to be aware of, which you'll see right over here, I took a screenshot of me just typing the word golf, and it is insane the amount of stores, range, not ranges, but like indoor sim facilities that Tokyo, in the heart of Tokyo there were. I felt like every other corner I would turn, it would say, golf this, golf that, and my family would keep pointing it out. Um, as opposed to here or anywhere that I've really been, I haven't seen that much in terms of golf, like in your face constantly, which I found very, very interesting compared from Japan to the US. Another thing that I want to point out, which I also found quite fascinating, which I've also heard before, is um, being loud and proud about and patriotic about your flag. Um, as most of you know, I'm Canadian, but lived in the U.S. before, and the, the U.S. flag, obviously, as you can see, is on like every device, every gadget, every ball marker head cover, um, as opposed to if you go to Japan, I don't recall seeing the flag literally anywhere. Um, on any of their devices or any material. So I think culturally that's quite interesting and cool to point out. Neither is right or wrong, just I didn't see that that was my observation. And some of the other things that I also observed were I do really, I, I love the hitting bay in the back that the PGA um, Tour Superstore has for 25 or $26. You get it for an hour. You get all your numbers right there in front of you. I think that's great, great space for practice. I would take full advantage of that if it's way too hot or too cold or late at night or whatever. You don't want to be outside. I think that's literally perfect. Take your clubs, they sort you out. If you want to go in for a quick 30 minutes also, I think that's great. I was speaking to the gentleman that I had caught on video and he said actually a bucket of balls in Arizona is around $25 at a range, which sounds wild. So I'm going to take his word for it, but that is definitely good value right there if that's the case. Um, and then I did love to see women's attire as well as different kinds of gloves. I felt like Japan had more options for women's gloves in terms of colors, varieties, and sizes. 
but that's neither here or there um but i did love the fact that um we saw tons of different golf clubs i didn't know which is obviously i haven't been to a pga tour superstore in a very long time that they had used clubs i thought that was a very very cool feature if somebody was going in on a budget or didn't want to buy a new set wanted to test the game out i love that concept and idea let me know in the comments below if you already knew that and if you're brand new to my channel welcome i am coach cheyenne i do tons of videos on all different kinds of things when it comes to golf i like to interview cool different people as well i've done some with caddies i've done some on adaptive golf so make sure you check out my channel and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe um but back to this show so i think the other thing that's really cool that for me i think that north america can adapt to i the way they had gloves set up in japan where you could try the glove on on the bottom there i thought that was quite genius as opposed to i mean i wouldn't know what size i was if i was new to the game or i want to try a different kind of glove to touch feel i'm a touch feel kind of person um so i think that that would be something very cool for the US and Canada to adapt into our stores for people to try on instead of like sneaking and opening a box and sliding your hand in there. I thought that was actually quite smart on their end. Like I was saying before, I love that we have women's clubs now. It's like a big area it's set up. Before when I was growing up, we would have like nothing really in the women's section i love that there's such a big option for clothing for shoes i was literally blown away by actually both countries to be very fair in terms of our option for clothing and merchandise obviously they want you to buy 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 and they have some pretty good stuff so it makes all the sense to have that in there in the comments below let me know what you thought was different or unique in either country and if you're from not the us and or japan you let me know in the comments maybe what your country has to offer when it comes to golf equipment is it expensive is it cheaper is it pretty same in terms of the flow of the store or is it quite tight and condensed and and um intimate as you would say when it comes to somewhere like a japan another thing that i think i'm going to end this with which i found quite interesting was in terms of people that were in the store in both of those places i went in the evening and i felt like in japan i saw more like older when i say older i would say 50 and over men that had just come from work that were looking for like gloves or balls or and i saw a lot of them coming in and out in this video you might be able to catch a few different people that were coming in but the flow was very 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 consistent as opposed to in arizona um i felt like there wasn't as many people in there but a lot more diverse people like i saw a mom and a junior golfer um i saw a young girl in her teens practicing in the bay um, a couple of guys i saw like a lady so it was like a mixture of diverse people as opposed to only men between the ages of like 50 to 70 um in japan with their business suits straight out of work that had come in there so i thought that was quite fascinating and unique for my observation of us versus japan but i hope this video was was fun for you to watch to showcase a little something in different countries i hope that i get to travel more and showcase um around the world what golf looks like and what the different layers and levels are if there is a specific place that you truly think is very different leave in the comments below so i can go check it out thank you as always for your support for your subscription for subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so please make sure you do it and as always you can reach me via dm on instagram or in um, the comments below if you have any questions on this video or any of my other videos Thank you again and we'll see you next time.